My name is Fernando Reboso and thank you for coming to my website, reallynicehomes.com. The reason why you're here is because I invited you to come over to this page so you can see if a short sale might be an option for your problem property in Montgomery County, Maryland. Let me tell you, I specialize in short sales and I work with nothing but short sales every single day. A short sale could be the solution if your investment property has dropped down so much in value that it could take several years before you can catch up to the principal amount. A short sale for an investor is basically the same thing that is a short sale for a person that lives in the property and is their primary residence. There's only one difference, one major difference between a short sale for a homeowner and a short sale for an investor. And the major difference is a 1099 C. That is the Schedule 1099-C that will be reported to, to the IRS once you sell your property as a short So let me explain to you what a 1099-C is and how is that going to affect selling your property as a short sale if you qualify. You know, once we make the arrangements with the short sale and negotiate with the bank for them to accept a lesser amount of what you owe to them and actually go to the closing table and sell the property to a new buyer, the bank will then have to accept a lot less money than what you really owe to them in order for them to clear the title so the new buyer will take it. When the actual transfer of the title happens, it is like the bank is giving you an imaginary check for the difference of the amount of the principal of your loan and the sales price. That difference, that imaginary check, so it can be balanced to zero, is actually supposed to be an income for you, the homeowner. If you are a homeowner and you reside on the property and it's your primary residence, there, there is a, a new law that passed by President Bush in 2007, December 2007, in which that income for that money that was forgiven from the bank for you to sell your property as a short sale is not considered taxable. But if you are not a homeowner that lives at the property and you are an investor, such as your case, then you will have to pay taxes on that amount forgiven by the bank. So how does that translate to a short sale, an investment property specifically for you? What happens is, if we sell a home that is worth 200000 but your principal, your loan amount is $250,000, if something happens and you eventually lose this property to the bank to a foreclosure, that $50,000 will actually be a deficiency judgment against your assets, and you will have to pay 100% of that, regardless of, regardless of what happens. The bank will foreclose the property, and they will come after you. When you are doing a short sale, that $50,000 gets reduced as an income for you and you only pay the percentage of your tax bracket for your income in the next year's taxes. So basically, if you are in a 15% or 20% or even sometimes even 10% income tax bracket that you have to pay taxes on, that $50,000 on a 10% bracket will be $5,000 extra in income taxes you will have to pay the next year. So the difference is, if the house gets foreclosed, you will have to pay $50,000, 100% of that money, as a deficiency judgment to the bank. If you do a short sale, you will only have to pay 10% or $5,000 of those $50,000 and basically have a clean slate at the end. And that is how you can utilize a short sale to get rid of a problem property. You know, I do short sales and I do them all day long. That's all I do. In the last three years, that's all I've been doing is doing short sales. And I help a lot of investors not only short sell one property, but two or three at the same time. You know, and they see the value of this. They see the value because there's time when you have to make a determination that whether you want to stick around and wait it out or you want to go ahead and count your losses and go ahead and go forward. So in a couple of years, you can have a clean slate and you can start investing again. Short sales are not for everyone. Obviously, the most important factor is that you have to have a qualified hardship. 
So I invite you to read a little bit more about short sales and the same page underneath so you can see if a short sale might be the solution you're looking for. And obviously I welcome for you to give me a call at the number that's provided below so I can talk to you specifically about your specific case, a specific financial situation and how I can help you. And finally, I wanted to tell you about your tenants, how we can approach them in a very professional manner very respectful in order for them to collaborate so we can do this short sale. You will not find another realtor with more experience than us specifically dealing with short sales for investors in Maryland and Montgomery County. I want to thank you for watching this video and I'm looking forward to talking to you. Please feel free to observe some of the information that we put on this uh, web page for you and please give me a call because Anything about short sales is only specific to your case, to your own financial situation, and you will have a better idea after speaking to me. Thank you, and have a great day.